So here let us learn how to represent a rational number into its decimal form. Remainder not equal to zero. I will come to this after one example. So let us consider an example. Let us represent the rational number eight by three in decimal form. So all we have to do is divide eight by three. 3 2 times gives 6 and the remainder is 2 which is not divisible by 3. Therefore add a 0 plus a decimal point next to the quotient. 3 6 times is 18. Remainder is 2 which is not divisible by 3. Add a 0. 3 6 times is 18. Remainder is 2. Not divisible by 3. Add another 0. 3 6 times 18. So again the remainder is 2. Does this seem like, is it going to end? Let us see. Add another 0. 3, 6 times is 18. We get another remainder as 2, which certainly doesn't seem like it's going to end. So we have a fixed remainder here. We are not going to get a remainder of 0. And that is what I meant when I said remainder is not equal to 0. We can also say that the decimal form of this rational number is going to be non-terminating or a recurring decimal. So 2.66666 and it goes on, it doesn't end. So therefore, the decimal representation of 8 by 3 is 2.66666 and it goes on, which we can also write it as 2.6 bar. So this bar here says that the number under the bar is going to keep on recurring. Let us solve another problem. Now let us express 2 by 11 in its decimal form. All we have to do is divide 2 by 11. Now 2 is not divisible by 11. So therefore we have to add a 0. But when we add a 0 like this, we need to place a decimal point. So 11 1 times gives us 11. 9 is the remainder. 9 is not divisible by 11. Therefore, add a 0 here. 11 8 times is 88. The remainder is 2 here, which is not divisible by 11. Therefore, add another 0. 11 1 times gives us 11. The remainder is 0 again. Add 0 because Remainder was 9 because 9 is not going to be divisible by 11. So 11 8 times gives 88. 90 minus 88 is 2 which is not going to be divisible by 11. So add another 0. So 11 1 time gives us 11. Remainder again is 9. Is not divisible by 11 again. Add another 0. 11 8 times gives us 88. And this certainly doesn't seem like it's going to end again. So therefore, again, we have got a remainder. Remainder is not zero. Therefore, the quotient here is 0.181818. If you notice it carefully, it is recurring in a pattern. That is, the number 18 is repeating itself. So we can say that the decimal representation of 2 by 11 is 0.18. 8 bar which says that the number 18 is going to keep on repeating itself. So let us solve another problem. Let us find the decimal representation of minus 16 by 45. So all we have to do is divide 16 by 45. 16 is not divisible by 45 straight away. So we need to add a 0 and obviously keep a decimal point. So 45 3 times gives us 135. Now the remainder here is 25. So 25 is clearly not divisible by 45. So therefore add another 0. 45 5 times gives us 225. So we've got a remainder of 25, which is not going to be divisible by 45. So add another zero. 
So again, 45, 5 times gives us 225. Remainder of which is 25. 25 is not divisible by 45. Add a 0. 45, 5 times gives us 225. Now again, this doesn't seem like it's going to end. It is going on and on and on. So let us stop here and notice that the decimal representation of minus 16 by 45 would be minus 0.3555. But here we've considered only 16. Therefore, it is 0.3555. So the decimal representation of minus 16 by 45 would be 0 0.3 5 and a bar on top of 5 which indicates that 5 is going to repeat itself from here on.